Welcome to the season finale of Ruben's Indian Kitchen. You've seen what my mom can do in the kitchen. Now we're gonna see what my dad can bring to the table. My dad's gonna be making chapatis, which is a Indian tortilla, and my mom is gonna be pairing with that uh, potato bhaji. So dad, what do we need to get started with this? So we start with one cup of wheat flour, and I'm gonna mix it in this uh, stand mixer. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. And I brought some oil over here. I've chosen to use avocado oil. You could use maybe vegetable oil or any other oil or even ghee for that matter. So I'm gonna start with this. So my dad growing up always made like the most perfect circle. He doesn't agree with me, but he always made the most perfectly <laughs> circle chapati. I don't know how he did it, but he did. They were always like perfect. So we add the dry ingredients first. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt over here. Just about a quarter teaspoon. This is again, it's up to you if you wanna make it salty or not. Uh, it just adds, a, the salt always brings out the flavor in the uh, in, in the um, chapati. in the chapati, and as we are mixing this, I'm going to slowly add this warmed water. I've got a third of a cup over here, and you need to do this gradually so that it's incorporated properly and the flour is consistent. Mm. Right, and moms, and what are we going to start with meanwhile, mom can continue with that. Yep, so we have four boiled potatoes, and uh, they've already been boiled. So they're like medium-sized red-skinned potatoes. And so we're going to peel them, mash them, and um, then start the cooking process. Do you want to start? You can, you can start yep. the water. Okay, thank you. So mom, what's a bhaji? I know these people are probably wondering what word that is that I just said. What yep. is that word? Yeah, so our, in Hindi or in Marathi, that's our language. In India, one of the languages in India. So we, bhaji means uh, vegetables. So potato bhaji is potato vegetables. So it's, um, so we are going to start doing the okay. potato bhaji. I'm just going to peel the potatoes, uh, the skin of the uh, potatoes and mash them. So she boiled the potatoes, she pulled them to let them cool down just a little bit so she can safely remove the skins <laughs> of those potatoes? So yes, so I did um, boil them for about um, 30 minutes just so that they are, um, you know, the skin peels off perfectly. And so while they're hot, you don't want to peel them before a hand because otherwise it's going to turn black, so. My dad is still here gradually just adding this water to it. Can I scrape down the sides for you, Doc? Mm -hmm. Just gonna make sure you kind of scrape down the sides, especially if you're doing a small batch like this, because sometimes it might not grab everything. Thank you. All right. You can see my mom brought all of these spices <laughs> here and everything. She brought the serrano pep, the nice chili peppers, yeah. the onions, the cilantro. This is called chana dal. It's uh, the chickpeas. Yeah, just literally chickpeas. Uh, mm -hmm. And this can also be made, I mean, also lentils, right? You can call these yellow yes, lentils. Yes, yellow lentils, yeah. that's yep. correct, yes. And uh, my mom would always make these in a pressure cooker. She would make dal out of this and mm -hmm. it would just take. Yes, and yeah. then we also use the black uh, lentils just to add flavor. This one. Right All right. How are we looking there, Dad? It's looking good. We're getting there. So do you think I can... And ironically, even though this is called black lentils, it really doesn't look black. Yeah, it is kind that. of white in color or off-white in color. And uh, so uh, it's, it's kind of a misnomer, but when, it's, when that lentil has its skin on, the skin itself is black, so that's why it's known as a black lentil. My mom just added a, a good amount of coconut oil yeah. to the pan. Actually, three tablespoons to be exact. Three tablespoons. We're just going to let it um, kind of uh, melt, and then we're going to do the seasoning. In the meanwhile, I'm going to 
uh, mash these potatoes. You mean you take it out of there and knead it by hand? Yeah, we'll, we finally we'll do that. Right. So now you can see it's starting to pull away from the, from the bowl a little bit. All of the flour has been collected. There's no more like chunks of, of like flour or, or anything like that anywhere. Yeah. All right. This is great. I don't have to do any work today. My parents are doing all the work. Yeah. This just is... like they have their entire lives for me. Uh, <laughs> oh. And as we're coming to the close, Ruben, we're going to add a, a teaspoon of oil. And why are you adding it towards the end? To, for, so that the, uh, it doesn't stick so much, especially when you try to roll it. And also, it retains the moisture within the chapati better if you have the oil incorporated in there. Okay. So it looks like it, it there we go. Now it's starting to grab a That's little perfect. bit. perfect. Yeah. All right. All right, the oil is starting to melt. Mm -hmm. Do you mean to cut up any of these onions, Mom? Uh, we can just do one onion, because uh, actually I have brought this one onion already. Right. We can just cut two onions. There's two, kind of like a decent sized um, onion. Just chop them. Um, do you want me to chop them? I can chop them. I gotta do something here. Right, it's your show. Right? It's my show, <laughs> I gotta do something. I can't think that's I'm right, Ruben. You making can just mom get and dad do everything. That's all right. Yeah, that's, right. that's the way. I'm going to take this off now, Ruben. All right. The wheat flour. And I'm going to take my, I'm going to get my rolling surface. <laughs> yeah, I can move. Hmm. But yeah, while you move that out of the way. Yeah, I'll move this for you. Watch it. So now my dad is just hand kneading that. Just to give that special touch, huh? Yeah. All right. So as of this recording, my mom is actually going to be going back to India here in a couple days. That's right. Go visit my grandparents. Mm -hmm. She's going to bring me back a bunch of fun stuff, I'm hoping. A yeah, bunch of good spices and maybe some of my grandmother's recipes that maybe I can share with you guys next season. Sure. All right, now I think the oil is just right enough for um, seasoning. I'm just going to add it in this order. I'm going to put the mustard seeds first. Remember, I told you guys about this. It's called spluttering. Yes, exactly. It has. It's the right temperature will start spluttering. And then I put the chana dal. That's the yellow lentils. Okay. Come on. Getting there. I'm going yeah. to use this cloth so I don't slip and slide the cloth. <laughs> All right. Safety first. And now I'm going to divide this into six equal portions. See, this is where my dad and I kind of differ because I like to weigh them out. I like to, <laughs> just like when we were doing the knot, I told you guys about the 70 grams. There we go. Okay. Told you guys I like my, my balls of knot to be 70 grams a piece. Ah. My dad's, I mean, but they're all gonna be perfect. That's like a guarantee if I weigh all these, they'll all be the same exact way. What do you think, Bob? Yeah, you're, you're the know. chef, Ruben. We, we are not. We just Welcome. cook for, for a little, uh, you know, we cook to eat, to feed ourselves. You are passionate. <laughs> so that's, that's where we differ, so. So my dad is no slouch in the kitchen either. Uh, my dad helps my mom a lot in yes. the kitchen, a lot. He's, he's my sidekick. <laughs> he certainly is he's my sidekick. He's a sous chef to yes, her. Yes. <laughs> Can I just make this a little slow? Yep. All right, so You're now- just toasting everything? Yes. So now we are ready to put some green chilies, two green chilies, the small ones that we get from the Indian store. I like to put this for heat. Oh man, it's all starting to smell great in here already. All right, here we go. We have a six approximately equal lumps of uh, <laughs> dough. And we're going to start off with each one of them. 
We'll take a little bit of flour to prevent it from sticking to the... And once again, it's wheat flour. Yeah, it's wheat flour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my rolling pin. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll it up into a little circle. So my dad has an actual rolling pin, not my bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, you use the bottle of wine? Yeah, I sure do. We do have a rolling pin, Ruben. You can always come and get one. All right, I'm ready to put the onions. It's two a big size onions. And you have to cut it, um, cut the onions in a chunky way. As you can see, it's like about half, uh, half an inch um, wide, just because the potato bhaji, it tastes better when, when you have this chunk um, of onions in it. We don't put tomatoes <laughs> at all. So this well, kind of- Especially because the potatoes all mashed up. It that's gives right. you kind of a nice textural balance to it. Yes, yes, so- So that, you're putting more oil on there? Yeah, so what, this is my mom's method of, uh, of, ro of um, ro uh, making chapatis, what we do is we make a little small flat uh, so piece good. of dough. <laughs> and... Triangle? Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. Once we roll it, about that size. All right? What we do is we apply oil to one, one, oil. one half yeah. of it. All right and fold it over along the oil surface. And then we put oil over here. What this does is it gives the chapati a little bit of a te layered texture to it. And it's softer and too. We keep this aside. It's almost kind of like laminating dough, like a croissant or something like that. Yeah. And you fold it over on itself with yeah. layer of fat. It's like, a, like the parathas. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It doesn't take long. It's this is the only one that needs to. It needs to be a little translucent. Okay. Yeah, it has to be a little brownish color. All right. So my mom actually filled up this tiffin right here for me, <laughs> the part of her Christmas gift to me this yes. year or last year. Uh, so it's very special. Oh. It stays right here on set. Oh. Um, yeah, and I think we got all of that here today, Ruben. Yep. <laughs> yep. So. All right. So you made six balls out of that. Yeah. And then you're going to roll it out a little bit more, right, after that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he does it because my chapatis are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so he took over and he, he is awesome at it. And now I get only the frozen stuff. <laughs> I won't lie. I'm not good at it. Hey, sometimes the frozen stuff isn't that bad. We are fans of some of the frozen stuff. I used frozen naan on the show before. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have time to make your own naan. Mm -hmm. And if you're not good at it, why bother, exactly. right? Does the onion smell pungent, Ruben, or oh, yeah, is it, it good? Oh, yeah, it smells good. Okay. Just... Mm. So what's after this? What are you going to add to that? Are you um, going to add all the spices? Yes. Now? So after this, just add the uh, turmeric. Then I have the ginger, garlic powder. I'm not going to use the paste. I'm just going to use the powder. I'll so just, go ahead. Uh, just a little bit longer? Uh, yeah, just a few small minutes. All uh, right. Okay. And then I'll, you, we have turmeric, we have the ginger garlic powder, we have the mango powder, and then we have the vegetable uh, blend, the sabji blend. So these are the four, they go, ahead and go in that order. Beautiful. Hmm? Looks good. Yeah, and the more onions you put, it's sweeter, it's got that sweetish mm -hmm. taste. Dad loves it with more onions and chunky, so that's why we do this. So. Looking good, right? All right, that's the last of my little <laughs> triangles. 
Now the next challenge is to get this triangle from a triangle to a circular shape. And I tried it this morning. It kind of came roughly a triangle, but a larger triangle with softer corners. Let's Get see it, how it Rajiv. comes out now, okay? You got it, Rajiv. So do you want me to add this? Yep, so we're gonna no. add the turmeric to here. We're gonna yep. kind of blue some of these spices now. Yes. So the moment it loses its raw flavor, so do you smell mm -hmm. raw? Is, mm -hmm. No, right? So I'm good, I'm gonna put this. Just blend each spice together just so that it's coated. The trick is to focus on these little corners and open them out a little bit. He's getting there. Definitely better than me, Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, can you turn that on, Ruben? Yep. Yeah. You want us to make it on um, with the ghee, Ruben? Yeah, we'll do it with the ghee. Why not? Mm, okay. We like flavor here. Yep. Tastes better. Just a little bit. Just a small, not that much. Yeah. Just enough to kind of get a. I think you might want to get a plate, Ruben, from me. I got gotcha. you. There you go. I'll get a plate to put them on when they're done. Yeah. I need some salt, Ruben. All right, pass me the salt then. There you go. There you go. Yep. There you go. We're almost done. I wish you guys could smell it in here. You, there's so much like nutty aromas in here. It smells so good. So I can start cooking these now? Yeah, you can start. So just kind of like when I was cooking the knot, you're looking for <coughs> the little bubbles, right? Uh -huh. Flip over. Yeah. I think I'm going to use my hands, Ruben. All right. <laughs> yeah, we use our hands a lot in, in Indian cooking. Yeah. So I'm going to turn it up to our for a hot burner over here. There you go. <coughs> Bless you. The spices this, are getting to I me. Know, Sorry, I know. Sorry, we always used to sneeze when these spices would come on. You have to keep your um, the sliding door open. I know, we don't have a sliding door <laughs> or an exhaust fan. Yeah, I think that would have been good. Yeah, the exhaust fan would have been really good. Sorry, guys. Just a little more. Oh, that looks nice. Ooh. So the pan wasn't quite hot enough yet. So you'll see the difference between this one and this one when I when I put that one in here, it'll start to puff up almost. Yeah. It's done. I think I might. Do you mind putting some more salt? I'll put it? some more salt. Thanks. Right All coated. I think we're almost done, Ruben. We're almost there, huh? Yep. Because it's the potato is already cooked, so it's not much. It's already cooked, and you know. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. Now we're starting to get some of the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
start to get these like beautiful little brown spots. That's what these little bubbles are here. I don't know if you guys can see that. These little bubbles forming. That's what's going to be all of the beautiful little brown spots. And that happens because dad has put some oil inside. And so it kind of, you know. Yeah, like I said, it's just like a tortilla, yeah. like a flour tortilla is pretty much what, what, what we've made. The wheat flour. Mm -hmm. All right, it's done. The vegetable is done. All right, we have some coriander over here that yes. we're going to add to that. So we have to wait for a little, a uh, few minutes um, for, to put the, um, I have like two um, halves of. Um, ready to flip over two quarters of uh, the lemon juice, the fresh lemon okay. juice. And we put that only a few minutes later because otherwise it'll become um, bitter. Oh. So we just wait for it to- You see it. that? You guys Ooh. see the little air pockets forming? Yeah, baby. Good. All right. Do you have a- What you want, baby? Oh no, that's a spoon. Now I could just, just eat these with just ghee on it. Yep. When you guys were, you and Anna were uh, younger, you would put ghee and uh, jam. jam. Jam, yep. Saturday, dad used to make it and you guys would have Yeah, it. so a lot of my early cooking memories were in, you know, a lot with my mom and grandmother, but there were also memories with, with my dad. You know, this is why I wanted him to make this. Uh, I wanted to have them both on. I thought it'd be fun to have. Thanks, Ruben. Just, uh, <laughs> you know, a nice family, uh, a family occasion here to end Aww. season two. We've had so many great guests on from you know, Robbie percent. Jester to Rob Bristow wow. to, yeah. um, you know, we've had Andrew Sini, Chad, we had Brian back on. Do you have uh, Gerald? Gerald wasn't that? on this season. Oh, okay. Um, He's a great. Gerald's an awesome guy. Yeah, shout out, no? <laughs> yeah, shout out to Gravy Boat Jones if you're not already following him. Yeah. Look at that. You see the... Ooh, yep. I'm gonna let that do its thing. You guys that's, see that? That's like that's a, the money shot right there. <laughs> yeah, just ghee and jam is what I need yeah. on these. So I'm ready to put this All right. lemon. Just, there you go. Good. So this is how we would cook when we were at home. Everyone's doing something different to help. At least when I got older. When I was younger, my brother and I were in charge of doing the dishwasher, and we would always split it. How, how, how would we split half it? And the lower half. Yeah, yep. top half and the lower half. So <laughs> just like the um, mowing of the lawn. Yep. The front the... end and the back end. <laughs> the back. Yeah. You, you guys turned out good. Yeah, we turned out all right. Yes. I think. Yes. Shout out to my brother. He's been doing some crazy stuff with his research. Getting a lot of accolades over there, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. there we go. All right. You guys see the difference between the first one I did and how these ones are cooking really nice and quickly? And I think you can just lower a little. Yep. I have it down lower to medium yep. heat. And then I just do a Always got to finish it. Everything's always better with acid and herbs <laughs> at the end, in my opinion. Yeah. You got that right. And now... I hope we have takers here, right? Yeah, I think I think our man Brandon right over here is going to be happy that we finally have something that doesn't have meat in it. Oh, he he's actually, a vegetarian. He's a vegetarian, so okay. he's he's really going to like this. Okay. Great. Thanks, so we Bob. almost kind of made an Indian version of. Taco Bell spicy potato taco. That's oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to take over that? You can take over this. Okay. I just want to shout out my parents. Is First of all, get a close-up on their aprons. Their, their William Sonoma aprons, right? Oh, that's... You They're, know who did this? Who did this? Mrs. Uh, Schreier. Thanks, Mrs. Schreier. Yeah. Shout out to Mrs. Schreier. So they got their matching aprons. <laughs> Not only are they matching aprons, they got matching outfits. Mom, give them a little turnaround. What? You guys see the it orange was... and green, orange and green in my dad. The drip <laughs> never takes a back seat with this family. Let me tell you guys oh. what. They didn't even tell me or else I wouldn't oh, be wearing okay. this, it's okay, this okay. vulgar shirt. <laughs> What's the word? This FAO and Al Pastor shirt. Don't worry, I don't know what it means. <laughs> this is the taco shop in New York City. I actually used to work there. So this place is, I used to work 
in that company. Uh, it's a really great taco shop. The chef there is a chef named Alex Stupak. Shout out to Alex Stupak if you're watching. Um, and he was really instrumental with, I mean, he, we didn't really have a personal relationship, but his food in general was a way that got me to look at Mexican food in a different way that I would have never looked at before. So when I started coming back to Indian food, um, I used him as a big inspiration. So something like this is something I would probably run in a, in a food truck or a taco shop and actually run it with this in the middle. Um, so mom, do you want to start assembling these? Yeah, that's what I was going to. Oops, excuse me. It feels like we're just at home, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm grabbing plates. <laughs> We're gonna have takers, right? <laughs> Brandon first. There you go. Right yep. You can just, it's just almost like the same way that my dad folded them to start. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fold them in that way as well. That's cool. Right there. I mean, I'm actually gonna eat this one. This one seems nice and soft and warm. Yeah. Yep. So when they're warm, they are, warm. yeah, they even have like this little pocket in them, but they're soft, they're delicious. And when you taste these, you're gonna see why I like them with butter, with ghee and jam. Cause they're a really great vessel for a lot of things. Um, my dad would make these for when my mom would make any type of curry. Um, if we didn't have non bread in the freezer, this is all, we, we always had wheat flour and you have water. Um, it's really not a hard recipe to make. You don't need, a, it literally took us what, 20 minutes to make mm -hmm. that, put it together. Yeah. Hmm. Is it good? Yeah, I need you to try it. Okay. Also the way we used to eat, <laughs> we grab it with our with our fingers, put it on top and you take your, the your hands star. In, a, in a little claw motion <laughs> and you grab a little bit just like that. And then you use your thumb to kind of push it and come out. See? Mm -hmm. That's how we used to do it. That's how my mom used to make, <laughs> make like, how it helped me taste that. Mm. Mm. Awesome. That is 100%. I already had a bite. Come on, you can have it. Mm. Mm. It is such a really good balanced bite. It really is really delicious. If we take out the ghee from here, it's vegan. Um, yeah, you can and you can't even you really won't even miss the meat. I really want to thank all of you at home who have been tuning in all season. Um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in for a whole nother second season for another 13 episodes. We had a really fun ride. Uh, we tried some new things this season. Uh, we were trying to take it to another level. I want your guys' comments. I want you guys to tell me what recipes you want to see next season. Uh, hit me up on Ruben's Indian Kitchen. Send me DMs if you're making any of these recipes at home. Shout out to my parents for coming on for this last episode of this season. This was so much fun. Thanks, uh, it felt like I was at home again <laughs> with my parents. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for another great season of Ruben's Indian Kitchen.